Hello nerds, I'm Scruffy at Scruffy Tales, and this is The War Zone. And in this brief video we will be checking out the latest news and rumors concerning, uh, well, Sweden's new armored vehicles. Let's start off with the fact that Sweden will be getting new tanks. 44 Swedish tanks will be upgraded from being STRV-122s to becoming the STRV-123A. And for you who don't know, STRV stands for, uh, is short for Stridsvang, Swedish meaning chariot or battle wagon. Uh, it is the Swedish word for tank. And the numbers 123 in this case means it is the third tank version with a 120 plus millimeter gun. If we take a look at the classic STRV-103, it was for instance the third tank in the Swedish army with a 100 plus millimeter gun. And if I'm not mistaken, it had a 105 millimeter gun. So the changes will be substantial and enough for the Swedish army to uh, not call it a STRV 122 B, C, D or whatever. In the eyes of the army, this is a completely new tank. So therefore it will become the STRV 123. And we don't know all that much yet, or I haven't found anything, not that I have done any extensive research, but uh, we know it will have more enhanced electronics, uh, better optics, better night vision capabilities for everyone involved, and it will also have programmable ammunition. Now, what is included in programmable ammunition for a tank, I don't know, but uh, as far as uh, 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 auto cannons and uh, stuff like that for uh, the Navy and for uh, infantry fighting vehicles, then you have one round that has, in the case of Sweden, six modes of attack uh, programmed into it, depending on what you're going to be shooting at. If, is it uh, going to be armor? Is it going to be infantry, helicopter, incoming missile, what have you? So you have options, you just hit the button and the ammunition loaded into the gun, uh, you know, is able to deal with whatever you're shooting at. So you don't have to reload, you don't have to switch magazines or switch ammo belts or what have you. You just push a button and whatever round you have loaded can engage whatever is coming at you. Wh why you, wh wh how that would play out with the tank? <laughs> I don't know, but apparently we will have programmable ammunition for the STRV-123. It was also announced that it will have a new gun uh, going from the L-44 to an L-55. And what does that mean, you might ask? Well, it basically means that the gun will be longer, the barrel will be longer. So. L-44, uh, the uh, gun we had on the STRV-122, what that means is the length of the barrel is the caliber times 44. So the STRV-123 will therefore have a longer barrel than the STR-122. It will have a barrel that equals the length of its caliber times 55. And the longer barrel means you uh, have a more uh, stable trajectory, you get more accuracy at longer ranges and stuff like that. Uh, and stuff like that. So apparently the army uh, now values uh, more ranged fighting than they did before. Now I always heard that the reason we went with the shorter barrel is because we uh, considered, uh, well, we thought that we would predominantly be fighting in forests with a lot of trees, longer barrel in a forest, this trouble you can't swing it around as easily, and distances will be rather short if you're fighting uh, in uh, forests and fighting across farmland between patches of woodlands, right? 
So that's what I've been told. That's why we, uh, that, that was the reason why we went with a shorter barrel back in the day. Uh, could be wrong. Don't take my word for it. But now we've decided to ditch the older, shorter guns and go with a longer barrel, presumably to have more powerful impacts at short, medium uh, distance and having greater accuracy at longer ranges. And of course, we've also heard the rumors that we are not gonna be having CV90s with the 40 millimeter bow force anymore. We are actually going for the 35 millimeter chain gun instead that uh, we have exported, or oh, the CV90 with this gun that we have exported to uh, various other countries. And the reason is, of course, we've donated 51 STRF-90 CV-90s to Ukraine uh, of various sorts. Uh, mainly, most of them were STRF-9040 C IFVs, and these obviously needs to be replaced. And things are moving fast. They are actually trying to get the orders in as soon as possible, as early as possible in 2024 so that we will uh, rebuild our mechanized forces uh, as quickly as possible. And they apparently now, the army has asked for CV-9035s, Mark 3C. And uh, why that is, I don't know, but we can take a look at this particular vehicle. So obviously the 9035 is a much more modern vehicle with better electronics, better protection, better everything than the older 9040s that we have continuously been forced to upgrade uh, in order to keep them uh, up to date. But the 9035 compared to the 9040 has obviously been designed and built uh, with more modern techniques, design features, and what have you in mind. So having these more modern, uh, better thought out, better designed vehicles built from scratch is obviously better than just trying to upgrade older vehicles. So that makes sense. And uh, what else? Well, I according to Wikipedia, at least, uh, this, I mean, take it for what it is. Uh, this version also includes an eyepiece, as they claim, uh, for the gunner and commander, uh, which helps them with tracking targets while still uh, may, uh, being able to uh, operate their uh, stations within the vehicle. And I'm completely guessing now, but I, I, it sounds like they have something like, you know, gunship crews have uh, on attack helicopters, you know, the eyepiece uh, folding over one eye uh, so they can still pilot the helicopter but still see what the gun is seeing. Maybe it's something like that. Maybe it's wishful thinking, but it sounds cool as hell, doesn't it? One interesting aspect of this gun in particular is that it can easily, I don't know, but semi easily be reconfigured for 50 millimeter ammo instead and i the us is currently toying with it or they have been trying for a couple of years now develop a new ifv with a 50 millimeter auto cannon uh, in the turret so maybe maybe we shouldn't be fooled by the 35 millimeter here maybe sweden is actually going for the 50 millimeter because the us seems to be going in that direction so maybe sweden is too uh simply by the choice of gun i don't know i'm completely guessing here so uh but you know interesting you know i think it's interesting um nonetheless uh, anyway, uh, the 35 millimeter chain gun, it fires 200 rounds per minute. So, you know, it can put some hurt onto the enemy down, down range. And uh, the 9040 obviously had three magazines uh, of eight rounds each where you had to switch between them as you needed. Uh, the chain gun has two belts of ammunition instead. Uh, so you can obviously have two types uh, ready and you just switch between the two. 
Uh, less of a problem if all you're packing is programmable ammunition, or maybe you have uh, dedicated and tanked rounds in, on, in one belt, and then you have the uh, programmable in one belt. So you can switch between going after helicopters or infantry or light skin vehicles or what have you. So yeah, I think I think we'll manage. I think uh, the Swedish army will make it work. And uh, well, and then uh, the final note that I think is uh, quite interesting. And that is, will it have anti-tank guided missiles, ATGMs? Because as far as I can tell, Sweden will adopt the Acheron, the French Acheron anti-tank guided missile. And uh, Sweden will call it Robot 58. Uh, Robot 57 is the Swedish term for N-law, by the way. And before that, we had obviously Robot 56, which uh, was a wire-guided anti-tank guided missile that behaved pretty much like the N-law. So, the Akron will be the next anti-tank guided missile, since after Ukraine, Sweden realized, shit, we need something new, we need something better than the old 56s that we don't really use, and we need greater range than the short-range N-laws. So we went with the Akron, that is apparently the most advanced ATGM around at the moment, or at least one of the most advanced. And I would be very surprised if a new CV-90 in the Swedish army, uh, STRF-9035, if it didn't have uh, uh, ATGMs. I would be very surprised if it didn't have anti-tank guided missiles. And of course, uh, them being Robot 58. So, uh, will, will that happen or not? I don't know. I think it's very likely that the new STRF-9035 will have Robot 58 Akron ATGMs uh, available. That's it. We don't know that much else about these two vehicles. Uh, I'm sure if you are uh, army nerds, military nerds, uh, military equipment nerds, you can go off on your strange... Uh, uh, forums and sites and uh, what have you and ask around and get all the information on these things that you want. I don't do that because I'm that not, not that big of a nerd when it comes to these things. It's fun, but you know, I keep it casual. Uh, so yeah, I've at least pointed you in the right direction. If you uh, know something, you know, of course, don't spread around classified shit. But you know, if you have some insights on the guns or uh, uh, the various systems and what have you that is uh, open source. Share it down below and uh, discuss, have discussions about it. Uh, until then, have a good one and I will see you in the next one.